Throughout the region, there are numerous caves which offer shelter and protection, and they are as useful today as they were to the Aborigines prior to European settlement. Just behind me here is a cave known as Red Hand Cave. Now its name is derived from the numerous Aboriginal handprints which have been left there over the millennia, and it's very important to not only local history but the history of Australia. The actual handprints themselves probably date back anywhere from 500 to 1600 years ago, and they still show up very vibrantly, so we'll go down and have a look. Although knowledge of its existence was never lost on the indigenous Darag people, it was not until 1913 that Red Hand Cave entered into mainstream Australian history, for it was in that year that a search party looking for a lost child stumbled across the cave. Preserved and protected by a steel cage. These handprints were made by using ochre, which is a ground up clay or rock, which is basically ground down into a powder. You add some water or animal fat, make it into a paste, then you can even dip your hand into it and press your hand against the wall, or you can put it in your mouth and spray it out in that sort of fashion, and you get these handprints which are left behind. And just here you can see the two techniques that we used with the darker handprints being created by dipping the hand in ochre and applying it directly to the wall, whereas the whiter handprints above were created by blowing ochre out of the mouth and thereby leaving a void underneath the hand and a stenciling effect. And it's interesting to note that the handprints belong to family units because not only are they those of adults, but also small children.